。CDC 是非常团结的一个队伍吧，因为我们五个人平常在线上的话关系就比较好，然后所以才会有这个线下队吧。当时来 CDC 的话，目标很简单，就是打进 TI 吧，不管是外卡赛还是正赛。我觉得刚开始去西雅图，其实压力还是挺大的，因为毕竟我们还没有进到正赛嘛。然后，在西雅图的话，我们就都想的是争取外卡赛出线嘛。然后，没想后面的事，就是想走到哪一步是算哪一步吧。进到正赛之前，其实打 Vega 那场，其实压力确实挺大的。第一局输给 Vega 以后。我们就可能有点，可以说整个系列赛最紧张的就是那个时候吧。但是我最后我们顶住压力了，还是晋级了。当时我们就小组赛先想着打进胜者组，嗯，这样，因为胜者组的话就已经是八点前十二了嘛。后来我们超完成了这个目标了。<音乐><音乐><音乐> I was a little surprised because they were just like manhandling all those wildcard teams. Like, all right, we thought these guys were going to be really bad, but as soon as they got on the stage, they just stepped it up a level. For me, it was like some kind of Cinderella story. It was very amazing to watch. Their team play everything. Like, I was shocked watching them, and I was really excited to watch them. And at some point, I started to cheer for them. You could always see on them how they would move as a one. Entity, pretty much, where like their team team fights and and everything like this. They, they were playing it really, really perfect. I cannot believe how well Cedek are playing this against one of the best teams in the world. There it is, an ultra kill for Cedek. But in CDC, they should be up to find the dazzle as well. Four heroes dropping one EG, and CDC lose nothing. They had like 10, 15 heroes. They were really confident in, and they knew exactly how to play them, and they played very fast. People just couldn't keep up with them, basically. Sometimes. One versus one, the, the, the player from Cedek will just lose a matchup he's not supposed to lose, and you're like, how can that happen? This is the finals of the international, but they still win the game because Dora is more than skill and individual decision making. What a performance from CDEC, coming back from what looked like the most horrific early game. This Cedek experience it gave hope to everyone, and they didn't do it in some random tournament. They went; to, they were second at TI, so it's like the biggest achievement you could ever ask for. Это дает им надежду, поскольку любой путь, который проделан кем-то другим, он гораздо легче. То есть, когда ты видишь, что кто-то это уже это сделал и достиг, то есть ты понимаешь, что ты сможешь это тоже сделать. It was really impressive. It was what I hoped I could have done at TI3. They're definitely an inspiration to like new teams like us. It shows that you don't have to have the most experienced players in the world to actually beat the most experienced players in the world. They show people what you can do with teamwork and hard work. Basically. Yes, the Siri Cage. It's gonna be a twenty-one EG. They've outplayed EG. They're into the grand finals. They've done it. 这个队的话，之前没想过取得这么好的成绩。我们后面越打越好，然后我对自己的要求就越来越高嘛。相对来说，我们认为这次比赛虽然第二名是喜出望外，但是这也是对我们自己实力的一种肯定，对我们自己自己努力。所以，这不能说是神话吧，只只能说是一次美好的旅程吧。We were not really competitive first half year, like the most top teams. Back then, you had this huge tournament in August, and the rest would be just practice for that one. Major, who added Valve, in my understanding, did not stabilize the scene. We are just like players, not like before, just playing a TI. Basically, every time, every time, we are fighting. It's more interesting for viewers also because now Dota is super competitive. It's hard to think、uh, who will be good, who will be bad, because only three to five teams stayed with the same roster. They have players from different countries. They have only one reason to play together: it's because they win. So as soon as they start losing, 
then that reason disappears. And that major system with locking down the rosters, that's a great thing because it's gonna force teams to actually work on their issues and become better team on the long term. Now, as a fan, you're gonna be able to follow teams more and follow their evolution. It's really what Dota needed right now. После International 5 мы стали более опытны, вот, но каких-то серьезных изменений в команде, в нашей игровой манере, то есть не произошло, в принципе. Ну, я очень рад, что мы попали на мейджор. Пожалуй, меня это радует больше всего. Также нас пригласили на большинство самых крупных турниров. Мы постараемся везде сыграть хорошо, хотя это будет очень тяжело. After winning TI and going into the next season, we want to win every tournament, of course, but I'm focusing on each major. 这次我们拿到第二之后，就是以后的比赛，可能外界给我们的压力就会大一点了。然后我们自己这边来说，就是可能更有信心一点，会像跟准备 TI 一样，准备接下来的秋季赛。毕竟它这是一个大型的世界各国强队都会来参加的比赛。对于新队来说的话，我觉得他们就是有更多的机会能进入进入这里，然后可以让他们的。Nowadays, I think even the best team has to give almost 100% uh, every game because there will always be other hungry teams that will find your weakness. It makes me more passionate about the game, not only as a player but as a viewer as well, to see that it's not so obvious who's gonna win. When I started playing, the competitive field was uh, so much smaller. Back then, we were playing, I don't know, for headsets with like 20 people behind us watching and we felt it was a great event. Now it's, it's like you win the tournament, it's life changing.